Hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday class. I always have to think for a second, remember what day it is. Welcome to Wednesday dance class, dance therapy with me, Malia, and Miss Nikki. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just laughing because I found these diaper pants. Aren't they fun? <laughs> So we'll see how many times I trip over them. They're super cool. That's the thing, you get kind of, oh, you know, they're a little treacherous. Okay. They look super cool, oh, but... You have, to be, you have to be careful with you. Yeah. Mm, so I see, I see. We'll see, maybe I won't trip tonight, but if I do, that's okay. <laughs> It'll be a very graceful catch. Yeah, yes, yeah, so I'll fall. <laughs> that's what happens with me. I'm a big klutz, but I know how to fall and how to <laughs> pull it off. <laughs> So check in, let me know who's here. It's time for you to say hello and make yourself known and let me know what you're up to. And uh, let's see. I Can they hear us okay? Um, Can oh, yeah. they see us yeah. okay? We, we gotta be seen, we gotta be heard. The internet connection today was a little spotty. So just in case, if we go away mysteriously, stay put and after a minute or two, Refresh because we will be back. Yes, we'll fire up another one. We will um, return. I got a notification that my internet was a little, <laughs> and so we'll see. Hopefully, it's gonna it's gonna be fine. But I am so ready to dance and move around. I spent the day either on hold or in line. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was dealing with incompetence and wrong orders and mistake and things that I just had to clear up. And I just sat there like this most of the day, and then I stood in line the other part of the day. <laughs> wow. So, so it's definitely time for you to be dancing. It's so much time for me to dance. So tonight we have a little, well, it's not, we have a little bit of an active class. It's not super aerobic, but we're doing jumping accents tonight. Woo! <laughs> we're not going to wow. jump the whole time. But there's little jumps and hops in the dance that make nice small accents. You know this is a dance that's very graceful and floaty, but every now and then a little bouncy, bouncy, hoppy, hoppy looks really cool very as cool. an accent. So I thought, okay, that sounds like a fun All class. Right. Plus jumping is fun. It's good for our legs and it's really good for um, our bones. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Is Excellent. Jumping accents. Well, I'm going to go check on the comments and okay. see what people have see, said so far. Um, see what's, what's shaken <laughs> out there. Who's ready to dance with us? And I'm going to put on the music and we're going to warm up a little bit and get our legs going. All right, here we go. Let's see. All right, and more music is um, Middle Earth, Frank Lazar, Middle Earth. So we love this song. It's a great warm up song. It's a great dance song, super happy. So let's take our feet apart and swing the arms. Shoulders back, stand tall. 
Didn't that feel nice? Let me take these off for a moment. We're going to do some wide squats, and I'm going to do the splits so I keep these on. <laughs> I don't want to do them today. All right, so down, over. So the first one is one of the easiest ones. You're going to, it's just a technique where you hop to the four corners. So you hop and then you do something and then you hop and then you do something and then you hop and then you do something and then you hop. <laughs> so typically you hop on the one. You could also hop on the eight. So let's just pop in a shimmy. All right. Nice. So in place, either shimmy, you can do the bent knee with the hip tilting or the straight, doesn't matter. Whatever shimmy you want to do. So we'll count one, two, and we'll hop on the one. Three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one. Arms, five, six, seven, eight, and one. And then you could do six, seven, eight, and one, right? So it's nice to have some things <laughs> happening with the arms if you're gonna do something still. Now, do you have to go around four times? No, of course, you can go two. You can also do back to front. So, those are quarters. Now we do halves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, I think this is fun. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I think it's very cool, but I'm very easy to please. <laughs> it is actually quite fun. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't enjoy the pop? I think um, maybe I can add a little something to these jumps. So I have two messed up bones in my feet, mm -hmm. in my foot. So um, I have to think about using my body more than just my legs. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, so that it's not like all in my feet. So if right. I use like all of this as well, especially for me, that means that I can um, not have as, in, as much impact on my right, right foot. Right. So. so let's talk about 
and yet a little bit. For women especially, impact, you want it. <laughs> you want impact. So if you can and you don't have an injury and you have a jump rope at home, jump rope is one of the best things you can do for yourself. You want the impact and the weight bearing exercise on your bones to keep the bone integrity. And when you hit 40, life goes to hell. <laughs> life just begins, but your bones don't agree and they, you know, you start losing um, mass. So impactful movement with uh, weight being exercises. So that includes weights and squats and lunges, but one of the best things you can do if you don't have knee or ankle or any foot issues is to jump rope. So we don't have a jump rope, but we can belly dance and jump and shimmy. So this is really good for us. In my opinion, belly <laughs> Yeah, so you can, you know, do your thing and all of a sudden you hop and you hop and then you do a half turn and go the other way. <laughs> it's just fun. Now, when you're dancing, you want to keep it subtle because we don't want it to look, you know, crazy. Um, it needs to be just, right, kind of a nice little, so, and you certainly don't want to hear it, right? So if you're in a performance or in a home or something, you're jumping and you hear this thud, like a water buffalo. We don't want that either. <laughs> we want to feel very light on your feet, but you're still getting the impact. So when we were going point and then release, flex or point and flex, we're on the ball of the foot. That's how you land. Ball of the foot and then you lower yourself down. So it's ball heel, ball heel, ball heel. And so that's the softening rather than just flat. <laughs> yeah, and most people land pretty, you know, gracefully, but every now and then you'll fall heavy on your heels, boom, right? And um, we try to avoid that. Mm -hmm. It's not great for your heels and it doesn't look as good. So <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that because yeah. the kind of the mechanics of how Exactly, because I was thinking, because I, I have to think about it yeah, ex yeah. extra carefully because yeah. I can jump, I just have to be really like conscious of what right. is going on. And you got to be centered and balanced. Yeah, and, yeah. and yeah. use all of that because I think a lot of people tend to kind of let it sit on the heels instead of like controlling with your core yeah, yeah. when you do the jump to be able yeah. to land. So yeah. like you shouldn't technically have to even make any sense. You can land completely, I mean, yeah. more or less quiet, <laughs> right? More or less. So it's, um, you can land really, really quiet. All right, so let's do another one. So this is the jump hop on the diagonal that, um, it's a really common one that we do in class a lot or other classes. So you're gonna hop to one side and then you're going to swing that front leg around to the other side and hop, swing, hop, swing, hop, swing, hop, swing. Can you do it without hopping? Of course, I just did. <laughs> yes. So That's a cute one. Though. Yeah, isn't that cute? It's so sexy. it's on an angle and an angle. It's a 45. So 45 degree here, one hop there, swing your leg around. There, and now as you bring your leg together, hop again, hop, swing the leg, whoop, <laughs> swing the leg around, <laughs> and then hop, swing, hop, swing, hop, swing, up, swing. All right, so let's try. Here we go. <laughs> Five, six, ready, and one. but it makes it a lot easier to turn. It's hard to kind of lift and oh, turn, right? <laughs> so you want to get those shoulders going. And I just think it looks pretty to, to, to the side, right? So, and you can hook straight ahead as well, but you need to be using your abs because you have to turn, right? All right, let's try again. Keep it delicate, right? Don't make it big, keep it delicate. All right, ready? And one, and two, three, and six, seven, and eight. Good, good. So nice job, <laughs> nice job. All right, so that's um, diagonal hop and swing the leg, right? Hop, diagonal swing. hop swing. Diagonal <laughs> hop swing, yes. Okay, another one that's really nice is to, um, you can do this with a turn or a step. I'm just thinking what else you can do with it to step and jump across. 
Um, and we're going to do it to the front and the back. So you take a step and what do you do here? Yes, <laughs> I, just, I just had to do it, right? All right, so take an outside step, jump, and land with your foot crossed in front. So I'm on my right foot, and I'm going to push to my left, hop to my left, and cross my right foot in front. So the landing pattern is the foot that you land on, and then the crossing foot takes some of the weight. All right? So here we are, and jump cross. And go to the other side, jump cross, and cross. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> I think it's pretty. It's very pretty. Right. You definitely wore the right pants. I think I did. Because <laughs> right. they're just like swinging. I know. And they're out dancing and with me. And it's super cool. They are. Um, so you notice your feet are in a position for what kind of turn? Crossover turn. Right. <laughs> so let's just do that, right? So jump cross. Now, nice slow crossover turn, ah, right? So you can be um, five, six, seven, eight would be a nice little ending to some kind of a combination, all right? So let's say we're doing, um, let me see. All right, zigzag. So I'm trying to do things that don't take up a lot of room with our, <laughs> our giant space constraints that we have. So do zigzag hip lifts, front and rear, and front and rear, jump across, and all the way around. Yeah, good. All right, so we go a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. Ta-da! Looks pretty, right? It's very pretty. Yeah, it looks really pretty. So typically you just need the foot that you're going to use to be in the air for a moment so you can jump onto it. That's all. All right, let's try the other way. So we're going to go a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. Works just as well. You could use any step. I just picked the zigzag. All right, now crossover, same thing, but cross your foot behind. So take a jump. Cross behind. So which way are you going to turn? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So let's try that. Um, let's do the same thing. One, two, three, four. Jump cross back here and lift and a lift. Right? That will be fine. <laughs> okay? So All right. here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, jump, other side, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. So let's just play with that for a second. So two sided. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just do a zigzag on one side, jump cross behind, and then a hip lift to either side, jump cross behind. All right. Just simple, but just to give you an idea of how to use it in um, in a series. All right. Oh, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Very nice. Then notice that's a very gentle jump. Mm -hmm. right? It's not a big blah, leap. All right, so that is a jump cross. And the cross can be in front and the cross can be behind. And typically, you will continue with the turn. But do you have to? Of course not. Jump cross and lift to the side, right? Or jump cross and turn in a circle because your it just means your foot is crossed behind so do you want to keep going on the turn or do you want to use your front foot and do something else so you can definitely do either way i just think it looks cool to cross and then turn but you don't have to you can do that and you can use your hip there's all kinds of things you can do all right so then we have what else do we have oh yeah hip drops with a with a jump okay so Let's review our hip drops. So you're taking, we're on a, we're on a diagonal, and we're going to lift that front hip, and we're going to squeeze the opposing glute and drop that hip down. All right. We're just in wherever you land right now, but we're going to we're going to assign a front, a middle, and a back in a second. But just get this going here, right? And then you have it with a kick. 
release the leg. We've done this a while, <laughs> right? It's just a very classic step. All right, so what you're going to do is on this drop kick, it's normally just a touch, but I want you to put weight. And when you put weight on it, I want you to come forward. Oops. So I'm forward, back, forward. So this is how you're going to move your hip. You're going to do kind of an N. It'll also work with an M, okay? Mm -hmm. So we can do forward, back, forward, back, or forward, middle, back. Forward, middle, back, forward, back. That's a favorite of mine. Forward, middle, back, forward, back, forward, back. Other side, and squeeze the opposite glute. One, two, three, four, and drop. Two, three, four. Put the weight front, back, front, back, front, back. Now lift the foot, and it looks like a kick. It's not really a kick. It's just a release of the foot. Front, back, you just lift your leg and your foot goes out by itself. So put weight. Push off, back, one, two, three, four. Middle, front, middle, back, front, middle, back, front, middle, back, front, back, front, back, front, middle, back, front, back, front, back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where does the jump come in? <laughs> Between Ooh. the front and the back. Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so. Yeah, because you know, we float all the time. So every now and then you just you're supposed to 
plants are hopped an awful lot. A lot of hopping. <laughs> a lot of hopping going on. But these are just things that you can interject. All right, let me see what else I want to do. Well, you do that. I'm going to check out all these great ideas. I think we have another comment. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, small hops going backwards. Okay. <sighs> Anything I need to... Um, here. Susan says that she keeps losing us, so I'm wondering oh. if it's just Susan or if it's everybody. So everybody let us know if yes. you are having any issues. Okay, would you? Yeah. Because we did have a little internet situation right before we started. Yeah, we did. But um, it like reconnected. So let us know um, if it's something that's happening for everybody and then um, we'll just keep an eye on it. Yeah, we'll look. I haven't seen anything on my screen. Yeah. Um, or the phone, and usually it does different it colors does and things. And kind of goes, <laughs> All right, you're not on the air anymore. Shut up. <laughs> um, but I haven't seen it, so I'm hoping it's isolated. I hope that interaction gets strong. The connection gets stronger. Yeah. Let's see. Right. How are we going? Yeah. Oh well, hey Tracy. Tracy says Tracy's all here. good. On okay. Side. All right. Hi Tracy. All right. Cool. <laughs> Okay, because if everybody so, was having issue, then we would like try to restart us. Yeah, yeah, but if we're all good, the then just keep it letting us know as well. Just yes. be like, we're here, yes. we're good, everything's good. Yep. It's nice to know yep. that everything is happening. So now, small hops going backwards, right? Do you remember, you're not old enough, but do, if you re recall what the bunny hop would look like? <laughs> Does that look familiar? <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Yay! <laughs> Kind of like a bunny hop, all right? So, and you don't have to do this. <laughs> you can, you know, although it's kind of fun, I kind of do, right? All right, so there's different ways to do this. So I'm gonna go on an angle so you can see. You can hop where you actually leave the ground, right? Or you can hop where you just lift enough for your feet to slide. You see the difference? You can kind of hear it. Yes, I right? can. Okay, right. So listen closely. That's the feet on the ground. That's the feet off the ground. <laughs> it's up to you and the music. Just depends. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you're either going to hop back two or three times. No more. You, you don't want to be. I'm going to go on an angle. Three quarter shimmy. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. Da 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 Is that the cutest thing ever? <laughs> it's so much fun. Yeah. Super fun. We also have so some other people checking I find out. myself doing the sliding one, the mellow one, because I really don't want to be jumping up in the air, going, going, going back, right? It just doesn't look to me, it just doesn't look like right. So I would I would say do three, and if you do three, bum, 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 seven and eight, seven and eight, or do two, seven, eight. That would be my recommendation because it it needs to be a small little of interest, and then we go on to something else. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So let's try that again. Three quarter shimmy, going forward, we'll go the first one slow, seven, eight, and then the second one, seven and eight. Right? Okay. So two hops on the first one and then three hops on the second one. Right. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, four, and five, six, seven, and eight. <laughs> it just feels fun and, and you can't help but smile. It's a flirty thing. It's just a really fun little thing to do. So notice the butt pops out a little bit. It's not very much and it's not a bend over. It's just a little bit and just pull your knees back. As you bend and push to back, just pull your knees back and pull your feet underneath you. And it's pretty simple. I think it looks very cool. Mm. All right, so another cousin of that, I think we're, on, we're pretty much on the last one now. So another cousin is the step cross kick. So remember how we cross, right? With these little here. Now there's a little hop that goes there. <laughs> one and two, three and four, five and six, seven. 
seven, eight, one, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight. So this used to be a very common part of the belly dance routine. A um, long time ago in the clubs, it was the folksy ethnic part, mm. right? And it's super fun. So when you do this, when you hop, you're doing this with your, you don't just lead your foot, you lead with your knee. So land, hop, land, land, hop, land, right? So as you hop, lift your knee. Yes, you see what we're getting? Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's kind of like you um, shuffle and pull in and up. So try that with your foot, shuffle, just slide, Pull in and up, and then pull in and up, slide, pull in and up, yes. And really important on this one, point those toes. Yeah. Point those toes, because <laughs> we get kind of, and you just see you can't, you can't have your foot hanging there, you just can't. It's really not It just pretty. can't. It's not pretty at all. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Okay, all right, let's try. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Now three quarter forward. One, two, bunny hop back. <laughs> seven and eight. And now the slower one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Diagonal. Hop, kick, hop, kick, hop, kick, hop, kick. One, two, and, and, and. Cross, lift, cross, lift. Jump cross. And you're like, that way. <laughs> I'm like, wait, which one do you use a free leg? <laughs> yeah, free leg. Jump cross. All right, here we go. Lift now. Jump cross. Turn. <clears throat> Good. Lift. Lift. We'll go the other way. Lift. Jump cross. Turn. Excellent. Lift to the front, going back. Jump cross to the back. Yes, and around, good. Turn around and lift, lift. Jump cross to the back, bum bum, around. And let's see, shimmy, half turn. <laughs> half turn. Quarter turn the other way. <laughs> and who knows what the count is? <laughs> I'm just winging it. There we go, one more. And what was another one that we, we did? We did the M's and the M's with the kicks. Oh yeah, okay. All right, so M, 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 M's and M's with the hop back. So front, middle, back, front, back, hop, back. Front, middle, back, hop, back, whoop, hop, back. One, two, three, hop, 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 turn around. Front, middle, back, back, front, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Nice. We got a little aerobic going. Totally did. Did I get them all? Did I get them all? So, let's see. Hop, diagonal, six, jump across, across, hip drops, mm -hmm. four, four corners, hop back, kick. That was six, all right? I was just trying to help us do them all. That, that wasn't anything that you want to remember <laughs> as far as great steps, but, yeah. but you just throw them together. So um, a technique for remembering things like that is to do that. Write them down on a piece of paper. Make it in an order that makes sense to you, right? Like maybe I always, when I think of jumping, I do the four corners. That's the first thing I always think of. And then I think of the M's and the N's for some reason. And then I do that the, makes the diagonal. Yeah. yeah, so that's just what comes to my mind. Um, but have it make sense to you. That way it makes, because there's no particular order. But when you're practicing, you want to do them kind of in the order so you can keep cycling through, right? So mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six, do again. One, two, three, yeah. four, five, six. And then start putting steps in between. One and do a combination, two, combination, three, combination, right? 
and then pretty soon we've expanded your library. But remember, like I said, with jumping, don't use all that together. Right? <laughs> don't take all six with the combinations and make that your choreography. No bueno. <laughs> it's probably, too much. That's it's probably a little. Yeah, yeah it's too hoppy. Little, so little you would maybe hoppy. take two, just two, um, and then a whole different song, two more, right? That's really it. Mm -hmm. They're just meant to be little bursts of interest and fun, right? You don't want to um, do them all the time. That's why they're cute and they're fun and they feel, they feel good. But you see how important it is to get your feet warmed up? Because I was downstairs doing this and I was kind of doing it in my office. I went, oh God, I can't. <laughs> when I was ready to jump, then my body wasn't ready to jump. So make sure that you do the plies and the releves and the ring, ring, Right, all that stuff yeah. to get it going because now I feel like I can jump, but we're not jumping very high. We're just doing little little baby hops. Okay, uh, what else? Did we did we cover it all? I think, I think so. we did. Do you guys have any questions? Yeah, any questions? Then type them in and I will answer them. But I think we're at a good place and mm -hmm. we're jumping. Oh yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're doing yeah. just right on timing. So thank you very much for joining me. I really enjoyed myself. I love hopping. <laughs> and apparently I have a hoppy yeah, skirt. Hobby, yeah. I'm going to remember this one. This is great. This is great. It was so nice to have you all with me. And I hope you can join me again in another few days. Um, it'll be Saturday, Saturday mm -hmm. at 6. A little bit early yeah. on Saturday. Okay. And then you have your last class of the series for yes, the time being. Yes. My tomorrow. last class is, um, I think I'm going to try to extend it two more, but um, the third one is tomorrow at 4 o'clock for beginners. If you want to send anyone my way who wants to get started in belly dance, it's a very, very basic beginners class. It covers all the basics and it's actually, mm -hmm. it's really good. It's really thorough. And it's on Zoom and very personalized. Mm -hmm. and yeah, it's, it's, super a Zoom. it's a live class. So it's, it's not a Facebook thing. It's a, you know, private thing. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, um, and then the other thing is to remember to, um, Subscribe to your YouTube mm -hmm. channel. All of these videos are on there. We're actually um, all set. Like every single one of the videos yeah. is up there. I think yeah. except for one, which I have to edit in the background before we put it on. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We're so staying pretty well caught up. Subscribe, yeah, comment, mm -hmm. um, thumbs up. Yep. Like, share, all those things, and also share. Things that you need to do. Share this video. Share me. Share the share me. Facebook <laughs> and invite people to the oh. Facebook event. And then also you have so much to do. You have other videos coming out. Yes. A very special yes. one coming out. Um, the, there's a foundation video, mm -hmm. right? And yep. I'm doing a spotlight sale for two days on some um, certain formulas of foundation because when the weather shifts, it's time to shift your foundation, yeah. right? And your skincare. So um, I did a little video on that and that should be coming out really soon. So if you are subscribed, you'll get notification of that. Yes, yeah, because that's yeah. going to happen this weekend, yeah. right? On Friday, yeah, yeah, Friday yeah. And Saturday. yeah right, it's right in the Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. yeah, yeah, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, all right, yeah. I'm going to go this way and say bye, everybody. And thanks again, I really appreciate you joining me. Thank you so much, it makes my night. And I will look forward to seeing you in another few days. Bye.